Uh, you're here to present this year. Have you been able to see a lot of the a lot of the films that are on offer this year? I don't think I've seen a lot of them this year. No, I've been shooting, but um, I can't wait to. I will do, like the next couple of months is when I catch up on all independent cinema and the awards season. Yeah, man. Yeah, you know, watch the leads, watch uh, the cinema. Uh, you've jumped into you did love, some Lovecraft country after you did 71 and all the other films that you made. How was that experience for you? Because it's a, a bigger. I, I didn't do some. I did the pilot of Lovecraft country. Yeah, it was a big experience. It was a. I'm very grateful for the experience. You know. Are you working with Riz now? Is that correct? Is that is that is that something that's happening? Is it on the back burner or how's that going? Well, Riz is one of my dear friends. He's one of my best friends. Like for two decades now. That's why I'm here to present him with the Richard Harris Award. We're developing a lot of things together. We haven't worked together since Dead Set, Charlie Brooker's Dead Set, like 15 years ago or something. So I'm excited to work with him. We've got Exit West in development and Netflix and lots of other things actually under the radar. So He's had a fantastic year as well, a couple of fantastic films, great performances, and he's doing so much for the industry, particularly the brilliant industry. Uh, he's such a force of nature. Can you see why people are so drawn to him as an actor and as, a, as someone that behind the scenes does so much for the, for the industry? Uh, yes, I can see why people are drawn to Riz. I mean, he's one of my best friends. He's like a searing, important voice. He's, you know, the industry like, in, like makes space for him. He stretched culture to make space for himself, to make space for lots of other people. And he's championing causes and he's, you know, he's a force for representation and he's a very important voice and he's just getting started. And the best is yet to come from Riz Ahmed. And Biff is such a great platform. I mean, there's so many movies out there. There's a congestion of movies from last year, these big blockbusters. How important for you as a filmmaker, but also in general for Biffa to, to give a voice to all of these films that are struggling for, for oxygen and for screens in amongst so many films these days? Well, you know, there's always been a history of good films struggling for oxygen, but, you know, independent cinema has been soothing for me when I was young, when I was growing up. Independent cinema is everything for me, you know. And, and I'm very grateful for it and long may it continue I want to make more films it's, it's very important you know, to have that expression to have a variety a, a varied diet you know the multiplexes don't have a varied you know they don't have enough variety so it's important to like champion our industry and make independent film independent cinema has never been more important especially with everything that's going on in the world we need our voices heard ladies and gentlemen you're watching hey you guys Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys!